Well, we had the rain today and then some. We had a hailstorm in portions of Cape May and Atlantic counties. Look at this video from Iman in Upper Township. It looks like snow on the ground. They probably had more hail accumulation today than they had snow all of last winter. And I'm not really exaggerating either. We had up the golf ball sized hail in the Petersburg section of Upper Township, usually in South Jersey when we're talking about hail. Anything above an inch is pretty unusual, let alone an inch in three quarters. We had over an inch of rain in some parts of the area too, an inch and a quarter, just about in EHT. Atlantic Sea Marina though, they broke the record with 1.93 inches of rain. That is a daily record. The old record was set back in 2016. Records at Atlantic Sea Marina go back to the 1870s. I don't really think we're adding too much to our rainfall totals as we go into this evening. We're pretty much dry on our future radar as we go into tonight. That being said, I wouldn't rule out a shower throughout midnight or so. Otherwise, we're seasonable. Temperatures are 65 to 70 degrees. We'll see some patchy fog develop late in those spots where we did see a good amount of rain today. And this visibility map pretty much paints the picture where Ocean City is at zero visibility. Atlantic City is at zero visibility. Seattle is at zero visibility. So you want to make sure you're paying close attention and keep your eyes on the road if you will be driving on Thursday morning. But then that fog will burn off by about 9 or 10 o'clock or so. Then we're just most Mostly sunny and very warm, but not humid. So actually not that bad out. Actually a great day to be by the water. And look at these water temperatures. We're pretty warm here for South Jersey. We're in the 70s for a good portion of the Atlantic Ocean waters. Delaware Bay is up to 82 degrees. The rip current risk is low. The surf zone remains on the lower side, just about two feet. So a great day to get into the water. Friday will be a good day to get into the water too, because we are going to be hot, hot, and hot on the mainland. These are three different model runs and they all paint the same picture. We're well into the 90s as we go into our Friday. Then we'll go into Independence Day for the firework forecast. Looking good for about 9 p.m. on Saturday. Partly cloudy skies. Temperatures in the upper 70s to around 80 degrees. Here's our mainland seven day forecast. We can see an isolated thunderstorm late on Friday. That would carry over into Friday night, but for the most part, we are going to be dry. 94, though, would be the big story on the mainland. Then, as we go into 4th of July weekend itself, a little bit cooler. We'll have a good amount of sunshine around as well, but it will be dry. So, that is great news for any outdoor events that you will have. Even at the shore, we're staying dry. In fact, a little bit cool for our Saturday on the 4th of July itself due to a northeast wind. Monday will return some thunderstorm chances, but we're pretty seasonable as we go into next week. I want to give a shout out here to Marion who took this beautiful photo in North Cape May. She is the winner for our July video background contest and she found out about that on social media and also on social media. You can listen to my new Something in the Air podcast at thepressofac.com slash weather.